Okay, so I do watch Tanya TKO. And I'm going to be honest with you. When I heard this short, I, I, I was so pissed off because this is exactly what I knew was going to happen when people voted Trump into office again. Instead of creating an environment in, the, in America where we have unity and love and peace, and we want to create something beautiful and create a nation that can grow and prosper. This is the kind of sentiment that people are teaching their children. They're teaching their children hatred. And they're teaching their children to do exactly what the white fucking supremacists used to do, have done in the past, and will continue to do. This neo-Nazi party that follows Trump. This is the kind of shit we're going to be dealing with. Like, we have a knockout who their child is inside of a school, and after the election, the other kids said to the child, well, you know, we're so happy now that this person has won. We can't wait for you to be our slave. This is what they said to my, my knockout child. And my knockout child is is crying and and inconsolable, wanting to take the child wanting to take themselves out of this world because the child cannot can't fathom being in an existence where they are going to be enslaved to their classmates. Where did these classmates get these ideas? From their parents. How, where are they coming From up their parents? with this stuff? What have they heard in the home? And in what ways are they replicating the parents' teaching? Like, we have a... So that's exactly what I was scared was going to happen. That kind of situation. I am so irritated. Um, I don't understand where the feminist movement is right now because women's, women's legit rights are going down the... fuck. They're flushed down the toilet. At this point... Uh, we have Republicans and I personally don't believe this is me personally. I can, I, Kamala can, um, succeed if she, or, um, you know, she can, uh, say Trump won all she wants to, but I really believe that, uh, the, the votes weren't tallied properly. I believe that he didn't really win. This is my personal opinion. Um, I don't believe it. And um, Project 2025 is on the move now. Women's rights. Oh, God. You know, somebody said to me 10 or 15 years ago on YouTube, um, why am I still a feminist? Because fem uh, women have gotten their rights already. There's need no need to fight. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? All of our rights that women have fought for, for over a fucking century, they want to unwind. America's fucked. And any woman who voted for Trump, you have to have your fucking head examined. Or you just don't give a fuck about your rights. You just don't care. You just don't care that your rights are going down the tube. This shit saddens me so, oh my God. But I knew this was going to happen. I knew, and I'm going to be honest with you. When I was a little girl, three years old, I had a reoccurring dream. That reoccurring dream was me. So I feel like this is going to be, if I pass away or whatever happens with Trump and his rule and his reign, um, I feel like it's going to come to pass. And the, what is going to come to pass is I saw... And this is no fucking joke. White people being disintegrated by fire from the true God. And they and I was in a I was in a a room like a ship. And on that ship were these beings that were over seven foot tall. They were they were extremely tall in white robes in my dream. And this fire was coming out of the sky. And these people were running around and they were disintegrating. Before the flames could even hit them, they were just disintegrating. Like it was like poof and they were gone. 
and they were running. And inside that ship, there was no emotion. It was like judgment. Is this what we're headed for? I feel like it's what we're headed for. I feel like divine judgment because as much as in, and, and to elect somebody like Trump who has said all the things he wants to say that are so horrific and people still voted for him and you got so-called Christians talking about they, they believe in him. He is, he is a known pathological liar. He is a narcissist. He wants to be a dictator. He is so fucking hate mongering. And these Christians, you know what? You remind me, these Christians I see in America remind me of the Jews back in the day when it came to Christ and he was about to be crucified. I, I, stop. And the 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 Roman um, political who I think it was Pontius Pilate, right? Brought Barnabas, a known murderer out, right? A guy that committed so many crimes. And they brought Jesus, this person that is blameless. This is what I'm telling these 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 um, Christians, because they remind me of the of the the Pharisees of those days. And they let and release because because Pontius Pilate said, I can release Jesus, this innocent man. Or I can release Pontius Pilate. They chose to release Pontius Pilate and crucify Jesus. And even um, the Roman Empire said that this is a man who is blameless. We have nothing on him that he has committed any crimes. However, uh, Barnabas has commit has cre has committed all these different crimes plus murder which do you want to release and they release the murderer okay trump is not blameless they're acting as if he's some kind of saint these christians are and i'm telling you they are about to reap the most divine fucking judgment if they ever believed in a divine creator or a God, it's about to come. If what they plan to do, if, 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 if what these little kids are telling this little child in this classroom that they can't wait to make that child a slave, you know what is about to come upon you and your families teaching your children that type of hatred? Do you know what judgment is coming for you Christians? You so-called Christians in America? Woe to you. That's all I can say.